Today, the Food and Drug Administration announced what will be a major change in our food supply. The use of antibiotics will be rolled back in beef, pork, and poultry. The goal is to reduce the development of new drug-resistant bacteria, which now kill about 23,000 Americans a year. Here's Dr. John LaPook. For decades, farmers have added antibiotics to animal feed to stimulate growth in poultry, cattle, and pigs. But the antibiotics have been overused, and bacteria in the animals have become resistant to the drugs. Eventually, these resistant bacteria have come into contact with humans. The FDA's mandate would eliminate over-the-counter use of antibiotics for the main purpose of boosting growth in healthy animals. Antibiotics could only be used to treat or prevent disease and must be prescribed by a veterinarian. One consumer advocacy group estimates 80% of all antibiotics in this country are used in farm animals. Dr. William Schaffner is an infectious disease specialist with Vanderbilt University. The fewer antibiotics we use in, uh, in our animal food, the better it is for us. Because we infectious disease doctors are having a harder and harder time treating patients with important infections. The program is voluntary. The two main companies that produce animal feed that incorporates antibiotics have agreed to comply with the new guidelines. Michael Taylor is deputy commissioner of the FDA. It's really focusing on those antibiotics that are important in human medicine and, and reducing the likelihood that disease-causing bacteria uh, become resistant to these, these antibiotics and therefore are no longer effective in treating people. The FDA said it expects the meat producers to comply. In a statement, the National Pork Producers Council said, we expect that hog farmers and the federally inspected feed mills they purchase feed from will follow the law. John, what are the real world implications of this problem? Scott, they're enormous. In the last month alone, I've had two patients with potentially life-threatening infections with bacteria that were resistant to typical antibiotics. Now, fortunately, there were more powerful antibiotics that did the trick, but these bugs are getting stronger and stronger, and we're starting to run out of options. Dr. John LaPook, thank you, Doc.